In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Rode VideoMic NTG. I'm going to be talking about its features, why I bought it, and why it suits my needs. Make sure you watch until the end of the video to see how I use this wireless. sponsored video I bought this thing myself and I just wanted to make a review about it this is not going to be a super tech review I'm not an audio expert there's plenty of videos out there talking about that kind of stuff anyway I'm gonna be talking about some of the cons make sure you subscribe and like this video because it will really help me make more videos like this okay so I'm now gonna switch over to it so you can hear the sound and the quality now I've got the microphone on a microphone boom arm it's about 30 centimeters away from my mouth if I bring it into frame you just see it there, okay? So the microphone is right here, right here, right here, okay? How does it sound to you? Um, in using it myself, I think it sounds fantastic. It's clear. Um, the levels are good as well. I've got a Panasonic S1 camera that I'm recording this on, and um, I've turned off the limiter. I've got it on number six for sound, and from everything I've tested, obviously when I'm gonna be editing this video, I'll be hearing the actual sound levels, but on screen, it looks fine. Uh, and from all my tests that I've done, it sounds fantastic. This is a broadcast grade shotgun microphone from Rode, an Australian microphone company. Now they've made loads of other microphones, great microphones I've heard as well. Uh, and I also own another one of their products. This is a great on-camera microphone or boom mic, just like I've got here, pointing directly at my mouth. This is suitable for vloggers, run and gun, shooting dialogue for interviews, um, podcasters, live streaming, voiceovers, multiple uses for this thing. Now the name Video Mic NTG is a hybrid of two names. So they've got their Video Mic range and they've got their NTG range. So you've got Video Mic for their small on the go microphones and then you've got NTG for their professional range of shotgun microphones. Put them together and you've got the Video Mic NTG. It's a hybrid mic. This can be had for about 239 pounds, 249 US dollars. You can find the link in the description below if you want to purchase one. I do receive a small commission if you purchase, no extra cost to you, and it's gonna help the channel to provide quality content and reviews. So in the box, you get the mic, a high quality Rycote shock mount with cable management. This is so you won't pick up handling noise of the camera. It's got a sliding rail, so you can move it forwards or backwards out of the way of the viewfinder. It's got a 3 8 threaded tap on the bottom. So it can be mounted on a boom pole or a mic stand like I've got. Comes with a foam windshield, which I'm not using at the moment, a three and a half to three and a half millimeter cable, a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and using it for other features. It weighs just 94 grams, that's 3.3 ounces. It's made of a rugged aerospace grade aluminum construction. This mic has a highly directional super cardioid polar pattern and a very flat frequency response. And you can see the picture somewhere up here. This means that it picks up sound from where it's pointed at. So for example, like this, it's pointed directly at my mouth. This is all it's gonna pick up. Maybe a few, just a few noises here and there, but mainly it is directed at my mouth. So when I have it on a camera, it's gonna pick up whatever my subject is. Let's go over to the rear cam to show you exactly what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it has a natural uncolored sound. Now that means that it's not being processed, it's not being lifted in the high, it's not being lifted in the low, it's flat, it is as it should sound. There's no post processing. Okay, so this is what I mean by the directional sound. You can see that it's picking up the sound from directly at my voice. But if I turn it around, as you can hear my voice, you can hear my voice. You can't really hear my voice. Now you can pick up just a little bit of bass. It was rejecting, 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 testing, 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 testing. It's got an infinitely variable, stepless gain control. It's got an internal battery that lasts about 30 plus hours and it takes two hours to charge from empty from his USB-C socket. It does have a 10 year warranty if you register it on the Rode website. It's got automatic power on and off. So when you turn on the camera, the microphone turns on. When you turn off your camera, the microphone turns off. Great way of saving battery. It's got an auto sensing three and a half millimeter output and it works with both cameras and mobile devices. Whether it's got TRS or if it's got 
TRRS. It doesn't matter anymore. Get rid of all those adapter cables. You've got one cable to rule them all. Unless you need an adapter for your smartphone, that is. As I mentioned before, it's got USB-C for charging and connecting to a computer, smartphone, or tablet. It works with both Windows and Mac. When it's connected to any other device with USB-C, the 3.5 millimeter output turns to headphone monitoring and the gain control turns into a headphone volume. You can also do firmware updates and at the time of this video, there has been one firmware update already released. It has digital switching. It's got a high pass filter, either 75 Hertz or 150 Hertz, which rolls off the lower frequency noises like air conditioners and traffic. It's got a high frequency boost. So for example, when you do have the windshield on, it will just increase the, uh, the high frequency so that you get the better sound. It's got a minus 20 decibel pad. It also features safety channel recording. That means that on the left hand side, it's gonna record as normal. On the right hand side of your stereo signal, it's gonna be minus 20 dB. So that if something does happen that causes a really loud sound, you have that track to kind of replace that noise, which will be undistorted. It's fantastic. It also has a dB peak warning light. This thing is a do it all mic. I love products that have more than one function. Now this mic's competition, I'd say is the DRT D3 Pro and the Video Mic Pro Plus. In my opinion, compared to these, it's better. Now here are just the small amount of cons that this device has. It doesn't have a battery life indicator. So I have no idea how much battery I have left. However, it does have 30 plus hours. So if I charge it every night, even if I use it for a full day, that's only 24 hours. So if I charge it every night, then I'll, I'm good to go for the next day. It doesn't have a user replaceable battery, but if you register it on the road website, they give you a 10 year warranty, which means that if the battery does go in that time, then I'm pretty sure they'll replace it. It has an unbalanced output, which means that you can't extend it for long runs. My advice would be to get maybe a shielded extension cable, or what I'm using is the Rode VC1 extension cable, which seems to do the trick, fine. It doesn't have an XLR output, so it can't be connected to professional recording equipment, which normally has XLR inputs. As promised, I'm gonna show you how I use this wirelessly. And here we are. So I'm now using this mic wirelessly, using the Rode Wireless Go, which I purchased before. So I've got the receiver on the camera, I've got the transmitter connected to the microphone, and as you can hear, my sound is now wireless from this, so. As you can hear, this is the sound. I bought the Rode Wireless Go first, which is why I bought the VideoMic NTG because this thing is also amazing. The review of this will be coming soon. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Just, just subscribe. Just, yeah, hit that subscribe button right now. Hit the like button as well.